Hey guys, it's Red Nomster, and today I'm here with a very special video. Now, first off, I want to mention that this video, or the theme of this video anyways, was inspired by Mumbo Jumbo. The video that inspired me will be in the link in the description if you want to check it out. I believe the title was called uh, A Pop-Up PvP Defense Tower. Now, essentially, I do a lot of self-building things on my channel. There's been quite a few. If you want to check out those, they'll be in the description as well. Uh, but essentially, this video is yet another one of those, but inspired by the thing that he built, which was essentially a... Uh, something in the comments of his video I called overcomplicated <laughs> in terms of how the redstone was actually made and I'll show you an example of that right now. It's got tons of redstone, repeaters, we've got monostable circuits, slime blocks, we've got torch towers and quad piston extenders. Now the reason I called it overcomplicated wasn't because I was trying to bag on him or trying to say that hey this is not good or something. I really like the idea, that's the reason I'm making this video in the first place is because I was inspired by that, that's why I'm subscribed to that guy. He does a lot of you know, weird concepts that uh, aren't really things, but can be made into things if done differently. So that's, that's why I'm here. That's why I made my channel in the first place. Anyways, to move on, uh, the reason I call it overcomplicated is because the logic used is pretty advanced for people that don't even know how to use redstone, but the design that I have is extremely simple uh, and can be built in survival as well. Basically, I've done it a few times on my channel, so if you want to see a tutorial on how to build this sort of thing, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, but what we have here is a pop-up tower as well. Now, the reason I like this design better is one, uh, aesthetically, you can do a lot more with it. Uh, it's infinitely expandable on the length and width axis, the X and Z axis, and uh, on the Y axis, it can be up to 10 tall. Now, another thing I got from his video is that uh, previously in my videos, my self-building designs, like my hobbit hole and things like that, um, it built up and then I walked into it, but in his video uh, it built up around him So that's what I try to do here. Basically once we hit this button We can go ahead and stand on this stone right here, and as you can see It's a little bit bigger than his is as you can tell <laughs> now first off uh, there is a lot of carpet and the carpet is basically used to keep its shape and it's also very easy to get rid of I know what you're thinking oh I gotta break all of these carpets and stuff it actually takes about four seconds to get rid of basically you just pour water right here pick that water back up and uh, ta-da it's all gone <laughs> now obviously you get I think a little bit over four stacks of carpet when all things are said and done yeah, a little bit more and there's some still I have to pick up but as you can see uh, it's a very clean uh, let me get some light up in here let there be light, yes, beautiful. Look how good this looks, by the way. I like it a lot. <laughs> now, anyways, uh, as you can see, there's a lot of room in here. It's very spacious. Uh, I tried doing some good design with the ceiling and stuff. I had it a little rounded and things like that. Got some nice archways. Uh, there's four different entrances and exits just to make it symmetrical. I thought that'd be pretty cool. And also a crafting table to craft your weapons and stuff like that to get ready for battle. Now, it's not very much like a PvP defense system. I just basically wanted to follow the theme of a tower, which was what he did. Uh, but as you can tell, on the inside, aesthetically, it's a lot different than his design <laughs> and uh, especially on the outside it looks pretty beautiful as well now I think I did a pretty good job in terms of making it look uh, blended in with the, the terrain around it basically because it's grass as the ceiling I did a lot of like dark wood uh, some green uh, mossy stone with it and then some dark green and light green stained clay things like that tried to stick with basically natural textures and stuff like that um, but that's what I got so before I end the video, I want to say a big thanks to Mumbo Jumbo for giving me the inspiration to do this build. As you may know, the builds are completely different, but the concept is there and that's what matters. Second of all, uh, I want to mention that this is going to be a little bit of a series as well. Uh, as you can tell, this is the tower episode. Not the best tower in the world, but that's what I went for. Uh, the whole building around them, I think I'm going to stick with that sort of theme. Uh, also, uh, you guys can go ahead and suggest themes in the comment section of this video, and I might do one in the near future. The next one I plan on doing anyways is a biodome, and if you don't know what a biodome is, uh, you can google it I suppose, but basically it's just a thing that you can sustain life in, f like, substantially forever, I suppose, uh, but I'm also going to make it, uh, you know, aesthetically look like a biodome as well, so hopefully that goes over well. But that being said, uh, that is all I have for this video guys, so if you enjoyed it, leave a like, and of course subscribe if you're new here, I do beautiful things like this all the time, and I'll see you in the next video.